hello guys welcome to tutorial on outlier detection using python now in this tutorial we'll talk two important methods for outlier detection one is z score and the second one is using visualization which is box plot so let's go and see what is outlier so outlier is something which is far from your data observation now if you see this diagram here there are some points around this line okay and there is one point which is too far from this these data points we can treat this point as an outlier so it is simple and easy to understand now what could be the cause of having an outlier in your data set there could be two cause first cause is some error okay so might be while you were capturing the data you did some error and because of that outlier is there in your data set that is an incorrect value or maybe while loading the data or maybe while doing some transformation in your data okay there was some bug in transformation script and because of that there is an outlier okay second cause could be because of some business reason so let's say uh, in this diagram here this is an online sales data of a company okay and uh, this is monthly sales so let's say on a particular date there was some promotional offer okay 50 percent discount and because of that the orders were too high on that day okay so you can see on this day uh, the orders gone too high and if you see normally you will see you will say that this is an outlier but this is uh, obviously it's an outlier but that's a genuine outlier because of some business reason okay business justification so there could be two reasons for having an outlier in your data set okay and based on the reason why outlier is there in your data set you'll have to deal according to that okay if the outlier is because uh, due to some error okay then you'll have to remove the outlier and if it is because of some business reason okay you might want to include that outlier in your analysis but this tutorial is limited to understand how to detect an outlier so let's go ahead and see okay first of all we'll talk about quartiles even before understanding box plot it is important to uh, require to understand quartiles what is quartile so let's say you are having a data set okay this is a data set and i am telling you to divide that data set into four equal parts now in order to divide that data set into four equal parts you will mark three lines there okay q1 q2 and q3 so if i draw three lines my data set would be divided into four equal parts 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent and 25 percent now each of these equal distribution is called quart uh, qu quarters okay so this is a quarter this is a quarter this is a quarter and this is a quarter now the lines by which i am dividing the data is called quartiles okay so q1 is quartile q2 is quartile and q3 is quartile okay and the middle one middle quartiles okay uh, like 25 percent and this 25 percent which is highlighted into yellow okay that is called interquartile range so q1 to q3 is interquartile range because this is inside these boxes this box and this box so quartile and quarters are really important concept before drawing a box plot now let's go and see what is a box plot if you see block box plot here it's not just a box plot it's a box and whisker plot but it is popularly called as box plot now what does it contain it contain a box this is a box and two whiskers the upper whisker and lower whisker okay if you see carefully even this uh, data set is divided into four equal parts this is one this is two this is three and this is four okay it even contains some outlier in your data set okay so if you see this point okay this is an outlier and this is an outlier so box plot is visual representation of data it cuts data into four equal parts which is quartiles and shows the first and last quarters as whiskers and interquartile range as box which contains a median line okay if you see this is interquartile range q1 and q3 and this range contains a median line here okay it also shows both ways outlier this is upper outlier and this is lower outlier why do we call this is lower because this is uh, below the median and this is upper because this is above the median okay so this is all about uh, box plot and whisker plot 
we'll go ahead and see how to draw this box and whisker plot actually but let's talk a little bit about z score so we spoke about mean and median uh, here in box plot you can see median but what is median we'll talk a bit about that okay so mean and median are basically same thing it's kind of average and even more is there okay so mean is simple average of numbers which you are studying from your high school and median is the mean value when data set is ordered okay and mode is the most occurring number in your data set okay so if you can see the data set here uh, i have took two data here data 1 and data 2 and this data is already sorted okay and the mean of data 1 data 1 contains a outlier okay 20 and data 2 doesn't contain any outlier okay so the mean is 7.5 for data 1 because it has outlier and the mean for data 2 is 5.6 okay so it means the mean is affected by having an outlier in your data set whereas the median because it is a mid value when data is arranged in uh, some order okay ascending or descending so median remains same for both the data so it says that in case we think that there could be some outlier in data talking about average would be good for median okay so rather than taking mean we will take median in that case okay now mode is same thing uh, most occurring number so in this data set if you see what is the most occurring number 5 5 so 5 is occurring two times so 5 is the mode for both data set so whenever there is some outlier in data set rather than taking mean you should took uh, you should take mode okay uh, now go ahead and talk about variance so variance is average of the square differences of the mean so if you say this is the mean of the data okay and this is my data point so if i subtract my data point from all the data points from the mean and take a square of that okay and take the average for that okay sum of the average then that is called variance okay and that indicates that how much variability is there in my data set so that is important to understand uh, using variance okay now since variance is a square of the distances we can take a square root and that value is called a standard deviation so a standard deviation is nothing but a square root of variance okay we can find a uh, variance and uh, a standard deviation by using numpy and we'll talk about uh, pandas data frame as well in uh, in 5 minutes or so okay so see Uh, how we take variance np dot var okay and we take a standard deviation using np dot standard deviation std so that is from numpy package using numpy package you can take mean you can take median and you can take variance you can take a standard deviation but there is no method for mode i don't know why okay so for that you'll have to import other package called scipy okay now let's proceed and talk about z score so what is z score z z score is measured in terms of a standard deviation okay so it is kind of a standard deviation only but the value of z score would be either minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 or 1 2 and 3 so it could be positive 1 2 3 or negative 1 2 3 now z score 1 indicate that a value is one standard deviation from the mean z score 2 indicates that value is two standard deviation away from the mean now this is the mean line right this is a normal distributed data okay normal because uh, if you see this is the mean line and the 50% of data is here and 50% is here okay so this data is normally distributed or we call this as bell curve now if you see uh, z score 1 if you see this is 50% uh sorry one standard deviation away from the mean line z score 2 is two standard deviation away from the mean line and 3 is three standard deviation away from the mean line so that is about z score okay and z score essentially represents that how much away is your data point from the mean value this is calculated as the data point itself when subtracted from the uh, mean value and divided by z score okay so that gives me the times number of times it is away from the mean value great now we can calculate z score by a stats package of scipy okay and you can see i have calculated a z score it is said that if the z score of a data point is more than or equal to 3 that point could be treated as an outlier okay 
so here in this data set you can see the JD score for this number 15 is 3 but rest numbers are 1 2 and you can see 15 is far away from 1 2 and 3 right so this is an outlier okay and the JD score value for this data point is 3.67 so I can treat this number as JD score okay but there is no such hard and fast rule that in order to be an outlier the JD score for your uh, data point should be 3 or more than 3 okay based on your business requirement or threshold you can decide JD score 2 okay or 1.5 5 as well okay or even 3 so that is depending uh, depending on your business requirement now let's go ahead and see implementation of all these things using python so here i have jupyter notebook and we are going to implement jd score and a box plot using python we need pandas library seaborn library and scipy library now just uh, to tell you that you can download this jupyter notebook from the link which i have given in description box for your hands-on or practice okay so what i have done actually here is created a data frame and this is uh, some online sales data okay let's say online sales data for a week sunday to saturday and there are two products product one orders and product two orders so these are the orders for some products and if you see data are same for both the products uh, just 50 difference in both of these okay only product 2 is having some offer at the end of the uh, week okay weekend offers let's say 50 percent discount on product 2 and for that reason the product 2 orders became thrice as normal okay on saturday so this is our data set and i have created this data set by dictionary here so you can manipulate this from uh, the uh, this uh, uh, code here okay and you can do some changes if you want so this is how our sales data look like and in order to identify the uh, outlier okay first thing you can do is plotting a line plot okay so if you say data frame dot plot it will ignore all the string columns and will plot a graph for you for numerical columns so you can see product one and product two sales uh, look similar okay orders look similar but only for product two it went too high on saturday okay this point here saturday and it seems that this is an outlier so this is the first thing you can do for detecting an outlier just use plot method okay and it will see uh, show you something like this next go ahead and we can actually plot a box plot so we are using seaborn method for that seaborn library for that i have imported seaborn here as sns okay so if i'll say sns dot box plot and i have given the product one orders to plot here okay i can see the whiskers and the box here and this is the median line okay and this data set is having four quarters one two three and four this is the interquartile range q1 and this is q3 right so this is my box plot and since there is no outlier in my data set product one okay I, I am seeing this box plot is pretty good there is no outlier pointed here but in case of uh, product two orders there is an outlier okay so if you plot box plot for product two you can see uh, let me just plot it uh, this is product one so I'll say product two okay so you can see this is the box plot for product two and there is an outlier 3000 from this uh, far away from this box plot so this is how box plot plots uh, outlier in your data set if this value would be uh, like 1 2 and 3 this would have been represented here below the median line so you can see the difference uh, of box plot without having a outlier and with an outlier okay now you can even draw a distribution plot okay so distribution plot for a normally distributed data would look like this but for a data which is not normally distributed would look like this you can see this data point is far away from the uh, others data points okay so that is about plotting and now let's talk about mean and median so as i said we can use mean method we have implemented this using uh, numpy as well so if you come below in this Jupyter notebook you can see the implementation is done using numpy as well but this is uh, this implementation is according to pandas data frame so if you want to find the mean of a column uh, in pandas data frame you can make use of mean method okay 
and you can see because there is an outlier in uh, product two orders uh, the mean value is too high okay so as i said in case there is an outlier in your data set you should take median so i have took median here and the mid median in case of uh, both the data set is uh, similar because uh, median is not affected by an outlier and so is for mode even mode is not affected by outlier so this is how we find uh, mean median and mode in pandas data frame by making use of mean median and mode method now if you want to uh, find a standard deviation we can make use of std method here and you can see the standard deviation for product one orders is uh, 65 but since there was an outlier in data set 2 the standard deviation is now 734 and please note that a standard deviation is sensitive to outlier so if there is an outlier in your data set a standard deviation would increase a lot okay so this is what has happened in this case there was no outlier in data set 1 so a standard deviation is 65 whereas there was a standard deviation in data set 2 so it becomes 734 which is too high from the uh, previous one okay now we can calculate z score by making use of uh, uh, stats package from the scipy library okay you can see i have imported stats from scipy okay so if i'll just say if i'll just say states dot z score and provide the column name for which i want to calculate the z score it will give me the z score for each and individual data point so i can see for data point one there is a z score between one and uh, 0.5 and 1.5 okay so as i said that uh, for outlier the z score would be around three so for data point two, you can see uh, the Z score for uh, this outlier 3000 is 2.44, which is too high, right? So I can treat this value as an outlier. Okay. Now uh, there is just a little bit of code for implementation of uh, outlier detection using pandas data frame. What I have done here, I have took the mean, okay, mean of the data set, okay, and a standard deviation. Now, as you know, the formula for Z score is this okay uh, the observation point minus the mean of the data divided by a standard deviation is this is what z score okay so rather than using a states library here i can make use of this formula and can calculate z score manually as i have did in this case okay i have even defined a threshold for my business requirement that if z score is greater than two treat that point as an outlier okay so it is printing for me that 3000 is an outlier okay and I store that value in this list okay in this list so outlier dot append that particular item okay so you can use this code for implementation of detection of outlier uh, in your code as well okay now go ahead and you can even create a new column in your data set for uh, creating z score so what i have said i have said sales data and add a new column called z score and states dot z score sales data product to orders okay and thereby it added a new column for me which is called z score and i can see what is the z score for each and individual uh, value here okay so i can see the z score for this value is 2.44 uh, by a stats package okay which is a bit different from the one which we have calculated that is because of the uh, value we are taking uh, after decimal points okay so this is an outlier and this is uh, the whole thing about implementation of outlier detection using z score and box plot using pandas data frame but we can do the same thing using numpy package as well so i'll say import numpy as np and import scipy in, uh, from scipy import stats package okay and we have two data points again here uh, the one is having data one is having an outlier but data two doesn't have any outlier okay so we can calculate mean by using np.mean method and median by np.median but there is no mode method in uh, numpy so we are uh, going to implement that using a stats package so stats dot mode okay in order to find mode we can use this package okay now the standard deviation and variance the same thing is there a uh, bear for variance and a standard deviation std okay and in order to calculate uh, z score again we are using here the states package from uh, scipy library and you can see uh, for this data point 15 here the z score is too high which is an outlier so this is all about detection of outlier using box plot and z score method in pa in pa pandas and numpy okay using python i hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe for 
uh, more videos like this thank you for watching